Mitsurugi was a samurai who lived during Japan's Civil War period. Apprehensive of the increasing use of firearms, he traveled far and wide in search of the powerful weapon Soul Edge, but his efforts proved fruitless. Disappointed, Mitsurugi returned to his domain. To vent his frustrations, he entered a tournament against Tanegashima Firearms. However, this too ended in defeat. What else could a self-made man like Mitsurugi do but face the changing times head on? the perfect technique to defeat Tanegashima. All I need now is a strong weapon, and I'll be undefeatable. This war-torn world seems to suit you well. Perhaps you have heard. An infamous barbarian, Nightmare, is said to be wreaking havoc with an invincible sword. An invincible sword, you say? You must be talking about Soul Edge. I've no time for idle chit-chat. Just you wait, Knight of Mare, was it? Your sword will be mine! Does Europe lie further to the west? As ever, I'm a fish out of water. Are you the one called Mitsurugi? It seems wherever I go, there are fools spoiling for a fight. Strong. <laughs> Did you really think outnumbering me would work? This is nothing compared to the battlefield. You should have brought an army. <laughs> Thirst for more worthy opponents. 
It takes great pains to keep one's combat skills sharp. The day I slay that Knight of Mare cannot come soon enough! So you're Mitsurugi? Is it true you accept all challengers? Is that what they say about me? Well, I cannot deny it. I welcome all who wish to fight. in my present form. My path to the Soul Edge is clear. Such a gifted swordsman. You appear to be well versed in the idol. Am I correct? You are indeed. And who are you to know such a thing? Just an old man with a knowledge of fighting techniques. <laughs> I cannot fault your observation skills. There's more to this old timer than meets the eye. of one called Nightmare. That is he. Do you know him, old man? Hmm. Perhaps I do. Then again, perhaps not. Come now. Do not be so stingy. Perhaps if you indulge me in combat once more, it will refresh my memory. If I recall correctly, a holy warrior resides in a shrine not too far from here. Are you saying I should go introduce myself? A most simple task. Let's do this! 
So tell me, old man, when will I finally face the Knight of Mare? My journey appears never-ending! What's the hurry? I hear that those who seek strength encounter soulage. If so, that your opponents grow stronger must mean you are nearing your goal. Well, if you say so, there may be some truth to it. But something doesn't feel quite right. Something such as the ornery rabble now surrounding us? <laughs> I did not come all this way to be stopped by petty robbers.
No rest for the wicked! I knew this old timer could take care of himself. Old man, such technique! You're no average warrior. Please, fight me! Though I'd like nothing more than to indulge you, that last move has taken its toll. <clears throat> my opponent right now is my age. No, oh, come now! Are you sure we're heading in the right direction? Where'd he go? <laughs> when will you learn? You! You're the one who's always getting in the way! If you're here, that means Soul Edge must be near! Oh, is that so? If you attempt to block me again, I'll slice you in two! think Soul Edge would be around here? Can you not see when you've been duped? What? You've made my job a lot easier. I must go thank that elderly gentleman. Farewell. Damn! Where'd that old man get to? Hmm? A note?
forgive me for leading you on a wild goose chase. You are indeed a powerful warrior. That is why I could not allow you to get near Soul Edge. I can say no more. No! I've been had! One as formidable as you need not rely on weapons and whatnot. Rely solely on your own strength, and you shall master the martial arts. As a fighter myself, I am keen to see what path you will take. Farewell. Well, I was able to test my hand against some formidable opponents. There is some worth in that. Still, we have unfinished business. Next time we meet, old man, we do battle. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.